Hey y'all, you already know who it is. It's your boy Roy Woods, Beat Town Southside Baby, and we here at Bob 105. Let's get it. Uh, who is Roy Woods? Roy Woods is a lot of things. Young at heart, old soul, um, creator. I like to inspire. I'm a very keep to myself person until you get to know me and I let you in my world. Other than that, I don't really care about what others what everybody else is doing, what goes on in the world. I'm, I live on my own. That's what Roy Woods is. Roy Woods' sound is a very unique, different sound. Not, I feel like, a lot of people could replicate. Due to uh, the versatility, the sounds, melodies that different, uh, differentiate from uh, other artists, the rawness, vulnerability uh, that Roy is able to bring to the table, I feel like it's very different um, from a lot of other artists. Uh, which is why the sound picked him up. That's what I say what, what, what sound sounds like to me. The good, bad, and the ugly. Uh, shaped me in so many ways. A lot of the things that I went through was, you know, my family. Our, our, a lot of relationships were tarnished. Um, for a, a good while, didn't talk to my mom, dad a lot, sister a lot, a lot of my family. Lost a, a lot of my friends too for a good amount of time until I just recently rekindled those relationships. I lost myself, um, but with all that, Loss, I also did gain, which was me traveling the world, getting to see places a lot of people from my city don't get to see rather than just from than just Brampton, but Toronto itself, right? Or Canada in general. So I've been blessed with that. Performing on biggest stages in the world with Drake, um, in the biggest arenas in the world over and over, not just once, but twice. Being able to bring my music to the world, have fans that rock with me for years, even when I feel down and I feel like I'm, I'm not the best artist I could be. They remind me of who I am a lot. <laughs> so I love you guys for that. They keep me going. I, a lot of my fans are from middle school, high school, which reminds me of OVO Sound when I was with the, when I was listening to them, uh, Drake and Party. And so it's, it's a beautiful feeling to know that, you know, I have such a strong fan base and through all the good and the bad, they still keep me going. I really love the R&B world. I want to tap into a lot of what's going on there. So much legendary music I grew up off of. Um, so first of all, Usher, it's a big one. Frank Ocean, uh, super huge for me for the new school. Uh, I'll take you all the way back to T-Pain, man. T-Pain had them joints. <laughs> Most definitely. Uh, that's just to name a few. You know, there's so much more I can I can go off of, but yeah, just to name a few. Those two for show. I grew up uh, Loki a boxer. My dad grew not just me, but all my siblings except for my little sister, cause she don't like fighting. We all know how to fight, like, but he, he really got us into boxing. We used to go to the gym, train. At a very young age, my other sister, she's a kickboxer. So, um, don't play with us. <laughs> we know how to throw hands. I don't think anybody really knew that yet. Before football, I was a, I was a boxer. I need to get back into it for real. I'm still venturing out, finding out what I like, cause uh, you know, I never really got to live bougie, so now I do. So I like venturing out, trying new restaurants. Um, one restaurant that I did love, oh man, dang, there's so many good spots. Let me just, you know what, I'm just go with a yard spot right now. Gosh dang it, there's so many. There's Better Jerk. I just got put onto Chicken and Tings and Malton Fire. Mod Fire, just so consistent, you know what I'm saying? Baker's Jerk. Baker's Jerk, it's a proper spot still. I love me some Baker's Jerk. That's a B-Town spot. I don't think they have anywhere else, so yeah. And then um, the rest of the world, we went to the Catch the other day, that was fire. Carbones is fire, I love Carbones, man. And there's another spot in New York. But dang, what was it called? So, was it Hakkasan? Budokan. Budokan, okay, I, it was right, I was right. Oh my gosh, they had the oxtail dumplings. Legendary Budokan, yeah. I'm going back. I'm sure you're familiar with the the, the restaurant Roy Wood. <laughs> yeah, man, of course. Do a lot of people think you own that yeah, place? Yeah, a lot of people think I do. Yeah, yeah, they do. A lot of these songs on the album, yeah, they go, they go so hand in hand. I tell so many stories that are all, I feel, relatable, but are also different. Like, you may not even be going through it, but you'll definitely feel it because I put it all in there. Um, like songs like Don't Love Me, Young Boy Problems, all te and Test What I Know, those are all one story. Three different songs, one story. I love that <laughs> uh, story because it's really what I'm going through right now. And there's a lot of other moments on the album where I have songs like this, where there's three songs that all play, or two songs maybe, that all play with each other, that go hand in hand with each other, that tell one story. So for me, that's I feel like my favorite part of the album is the fact that all these stories are, are it, or in the album, they all tell, they all have different feelings or some, sometimes the same feeling, 
but um, it's all my story. It's all not even from one time, from some maybe years ago, some from maybe even before COVID. It's all over the place. That's why it's mixed emotions. It's all my heart's all over, my head's all over. But all these songs, when you when you take it in from front to back, um, uh, it tells one story. Even though there's many within the album, that all there's so many different stories. It's all just one story. So I feel like that's my favorite part. How it all just blends together with that. Oh man, what am I getting into? Uh, well, I'm definitely going back on tour. Planning that right now, so I will be dropping the dates and everything soon because I can't wait to get back. I'll be touching places that I haven't touched too, so I know there's a lot of fans I haven't got to meet yet. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. I actually, uh, I'm a football coach, so I'm trying to my, my team, you know, Vaughn Rebels, be in playoffs, five and one, baby. Uh, shout out my guys. So um, <laughs> hopefully I can be at a playoff game with my boys because I'm doing all the album promo. So. Definitely want to catch that. So shout out my guys, man. If you guys get a chance, shout out us. Go see my boys play, man. They're really good. I guess I, you can see I'm on this little fitness journey. So maybe you won't see me do boxing, but I want to get into like Muay Thai. All right, so it's just all, all combat. So you, you'll see me doing something. Eventually, give me a year or two. I'll be going crazy. <laughs> Hey y'all, you already know who it is. It's your boy Roy Woods, Beat Town Southside, baby. And we here at Vibe 105. Let's get it. You guys go check out my album, Mixed Emotions, out right now with singers like Tess What I Know, Young Boy Problems, and my new single, Hate Me, featuring Cole Ray. You guys already know who it is. It's your boy.